FAO, and uh, six countries are actually represented here, Kenya, Uganda, Ghana, uh, Angola, uh, Egypt, just to mention a few of them. And so we are talking about tilapia lake virus, which has been detected and which is now a threat uh, to this particular breed that is very popular, not just in Kenya, but I think across the globe. So uh, the workshop here for 10 days, as I said, we have the representatives. So they're trying, they're building capacity. They're trying to establish uh, what they need to do to detect this. And just in case they happen to uh, find it, how do they handle that? And remember, we've had the terrestrial uh, uh, veterinary, uh, that is the, the land, the, the, the animals that work on, work on land, the cows, the, the cats, the dogs, uh, and every other thing that you can talk about, every other animal that you can talk about. But there's been very little uh, attention being paid to the aquatic uh, life, the, 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 the veterinary uh, services that the aquatic life needs. Remember, tilapia variety is one that is really the most cultured. We have so many fish ponds here and there, and therefore this particular virus uh, that is threatening the, 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 the existence of this important uh, breed is uh, uh, quite a worrying uh, thing. So, uh, Brenda, very quickly, I'll be include, uh, I'll be introducing uh, Mrs. Christine uh, Etiegni, who is in charge of the fisheries in this region, not just Kisumu, this, this particular region. And uh, you are uh, p p part of this training is supposed to build capacity for the representatives. Maybe, what are some of the early signs that you've been able to establish regarding the tilapia lake virus? Okay, first of all, thank you very much for having me. And to start with, I will introduce myself. My name is Christina Diambo Etiegni, and I'm Assistant Director of Fisheries in charge of Lake Victoria Regional Office. And here I am as a co-host to the workshop. We are co-hosting together with Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute, and the training is funded by FAO. Now, the main objective of the training, as you said, is to build capacity and to enhance capacity against an emerging viral disease called tilapia lake virus. We know that in our country, we are encouraging people to eat more fish, and to do that, we also need to produce more fish. But there is an emerging threat called tilapia lake virus that is threatening aquaculture production. So the purpose of this workshop, which has brought together six countries, including Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, Angola, and Nigeria, these are among the top producers of tilapia in Africa, is to enhance capacity on tilapia lake virus, so that by the end of this workshop, we should be able to know how to detect tilapia lake virus, what to do in case it is detected, because this is an emerging disease, we don't have the capacity to deal with it, and that's why we are here today. Thank you. So what are some of these signs so far, getting the tests that have been done, the positive results that have been got from the other countries? Uh, for somebody who is out there listening, how does, it, how does this particular fish that has got tilapia lake virus look like? Well. Uh, I cannot say for sure how it looks like, but uh, there are organs that are made to understand. You may, if you check the fish, you may find that this virus affects certain organs. And therefore, the growth of this particular species is going to be reduced. And this will cause low income and also affect the returns that a producer may have. So we have the cultured tilapia fish variety and we also have the Lake Victoria one. The so one, yes. The captured one. So uh, where is the, the threat most likely to be prominent or most felt? The threat is most likely to be felt in cultured because now these fish that are cultured, they are being grown in an enclosed environment, unlike in the wild, in the open, where we have the captured fisheries. So when you enclose them, there are certain things that come in. For example, if the numbers are too many, there could be stress. And when fish are stressed, then there are opportunistic infections, like viral infections, maybe protozoan infections, may creep in. But in the open, as much as the virus may also affect fish in the open, but the likelihood is higher when the fish is enclosed, either in a cage or in a pond. What kind of uh, uh, skills or what kind of capacity do you expect these particular participants to have by the end of the 10-day training by the FAO? What we are having here, first of all, we are having lectures concerning tilapia lake virus. From there, we'll move to the laboratory. And before we go to the laboratory, we'll go to the field and collect the fish species of the specimen. So they will go step by step. First of all, if you can be able to detect the virus by looking, we'll know what to look for. If not, we'll have to open and do the diagnostic, open the gut and remove the, the body parts, which are made to understand 
that uh, are likely affected by this virus, like the spleen, the liver, the brain, and such kind of parts. Yeah. Thank you very much, Christine, for your time. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, you so much. much. Well, Brenda, that is it from Christine. And uh, as she's mentioned, still we have really very scant information. But uh, by the end of the 10-day training workshop right here at Kisumu uh, Chem Free uh, Research Centers, we'll be able to know what it means to have tilapia lake virus, uh, the kind of intervention that need to be to be, to be taken, uh, given that these are the very people who are at the core of uh, the, the fisheries uh, uh, department and they, of course they are the ones who try to make sure that uh, uh, everything goes right when it comes to matters fishery so uh, that is the match that we have right now back to you in studio Brenda all right, thank you so much, Kevin Ogutu. Always a pleasure talking to you. Now from Kisumu, let's take you to Nyeri County where following the mysterious